your lunches? Because, you know, there, we can talk about lunches pretty much all year round to give parents inspiration or the kids that should yep. be helping with their lunches at Absolutely. some point. So we're going on with the sort of thinking outside the lunch box, yes. the non-traditional lunch. Yes. So something that's really easy is just getting the bakery to cut sandwich loaves the wrong way. Oh. And then what you do is you lop off the ends yeah. and you put something right at the base, put standard fillings that you would normally do in a normal sandwich but yeah. when you roll them up and you slice them uh -huh. they look cool kids think they're awesome and really you have had no extra work whatsoever you yeah. just want to make sure you call your bakery ahead of time and get that loaf cut the, the wrong way it's basically a cute sandwich another thing is that. scones scones I cheat okay the recipes on city line site I cheat I like so cheaters cheat. okay biscuit mix it takes two seconds okay five minutes to make <laughs> all kinds of different varieties of scones you give your child a scone and some cheese and you know grapes, grapes yeah. a, like they think like wow this is I'm in heaven you put in it's some cool. effort yeah but, and it's not even much effort no but There's it looks that, like you did it, which yeah, is yeah it looks good. like it which we, we just want to fake as parents right. and you know and and then the kids think we're wonderful they do okay Christini's again all it is is a baguette you go to the bakery slice it thin boom a little bit of uh, I put garlic powder in oil brush yeah. them bake them for 15 minutes they're crusty and you have it with bruschetta awesome oh that's nice pretzels and hummus hello oh okay pretzels I've never thought of doing that for lunch. Why not? It's the like a sandwich. A vegetable. Yeah, it, and it's high in protein, yeah. which we love. Protein's good. Okay. Now we're going to have a quesadilla competition. <laughs> I love pizza, as you know, making extra when you're doing it as a family, cutting it up, bagging it in the freezer. It's grab and go. Okay. Quesadillas are the same thing. So here's the deal. Any mm -hmm. toppings, why I love a quesadilla is leftovers. Any right. leftover can go in. I like to warm up the tortilla in the pan first. You're already more fancy than I am. I like to start with cheese because it binds all the ingredients together. I start and end with cheese. Okay. I'm okay. not copying you, but I also think cheese She's is a good idea. She's copying me. No, so I was going to do it. I was going to do it now too. Now you just have to pick your... And then I noticed she was doing it. Now you have to it. pick your toppings that you Well, like. are you going to use ham? Because then if you uh, do, you're copying uh, me. I am going <laughs> I'm not going to use ham. I'm going to use red pepper because mine is nicer than yours. Okay, and mine looks better. I'm going to use a double onion because I really like onions and I think they're amazing. Mine actually does look Cilantro. better. Cilantro, yours. yours does look a little bit better. Okay, I'm putting ham Just in. a little bit. And, She's um, me. and so then I'm going to top it with cheese. You're putting jalapenos. I forgot the jalapenos. Yeah, I okay. want a little bit of bite in mine. <laughs> then I'm going to put cheese again on the top. And here's the key with the quesadilla yeah. is that when you want to put your top layer on, boom. With kids, if you're trying to get your kids to eat the whole wheat, oh my gosh, I'm losing all the cheese to oh, the pan. Oh, look at you, look at you. Okay, if you want to get your kids to eat the whole wheat, yeah. a way to transition them is to have one side the white and one side the the uh, whole wheat. The whole wheat. So that when you flip it over, mm -hmm. show them the white side. Right. <laughs> things, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then teach them not to lie. I like your so, tricks. Uh, <laughs> and then after they're done, see how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. Put the lid on. It helps uh, melt the cheese. Yeah. When you have this for dinner, again, the key is you want to make extra. Yeah. You cut these into wedges. These get bagged. They get put in the <gasps> freezer. Hello. These are awesome. What is more amazing to a child than when they pick up a bag and they've got these yummy, yummy quesadillas? quesadillas. And they get to get involved. When you've got leftovers, they can pick some of the toppings right. that they put together. And then they've actually chosen what they're having. Again, remember, parents, change it up. Switch it up. Quesadillas, you can change up. Yes. You can really change, good change the fillings. Thanks change for that, up. Sandy. It's break time. More coming up. <laughs>